Towie star Gemma Collins is to sue the BBC after claiming she could have been killed when she fell through a trapdoor at Radio 1's Teen Awards. Sunday's accident, which has now gone viral around the world, left her bruised and nursing a bad back. Gemma Collins puts on a brave face as she smiles through the pain today. Gemma, 36, said she feared being crushed by a hydraulic platform that was raising Love Island stars Amber Davies, Jamie Jewett and Marcel Somerville onto the stage at London's SSE Arena. In an exclusive interview, she told The Sun I'm in total shock. It is a miracle I am living to tell the tale. I could have died or at least been disabled at the end of it. I could have been legless. Legless sequence of events Gemma waves to the crowd at Radio 1's Teen Awards. The Towie star accidentally steps through the trapdoor she had not been told about. Gemma lands on Love Island stars Amber Davies, Jamie Jewett and Marcel Somerville. I'm not being funny. I didn't even get a tenner for turning up. I didn't even know there was a hole there. To be honest when it happened I didn't know where I was, what day of the week it was. No doke, my life did flash before my eyes. I thought I was dead. People couldn't see it, but underneath the stage there's a lot of machinery and the Love Island people were coming up on a platform. When I actually went down into the pit, they were screaming, get her up because her legs are going to get crushed, her legs are going to get crushed. Gemma was at Radio 1's Teen Awards to present an award to the stars of Love Island News Group Newspapers Limited. Gemma with the sons Dan Wharton and fellow Towie star Amy Childs Ific WASNT for the two Love Island guys, they had super strength. The video didn't really show it, they pulled me up. Looking cozy Gemma Collins pictured partying with jailbird ex Stephen Mortimer after his release from prison I felt so sorry for Marcel because he obviously took my weight. I went straight on to him. The little girl got knocked down. She went on I've got to consult a lawyer, yeah. The BBC, they've not been in touch with any compensation or anything, or even an apology. It's very important this gets sorted out because really you know what it is, it's negligence. Do you know what I find shocking the BBC HASNT sent any flowers? Nothing. Gemma claims she plans to sue the Beeb after the accident. I am overwhelmed by everyone's support but if we just take a minute and watch the clip back it could have been the end of the GC. I can't back down from it. Gemma, now a dress designer, was presenting an award at the Bash, attended by 10,000 fans and hosted by Rita Ora and Nick Grimshaw. Gemma posted this image of her with Rita Ora on her Instagram after her tumble, but she insisted she was not properly briefed before being ushered onto the stage by a female floor manager. Gemma said she went, right I'm going to take you up on the stage now Gemma and tell you where to stand. Gemma poked fun at herself by reposting this image to her Instagram you can see her in the video pointing to the bit. She says, just stand there, there's your mark. Not at one point did she. Say, if you move to the right you are going to fall. Gemma says the BBC still haven't apologised to her she didn't even tell me they were coming up from below. She just said, the guys are gonna walk on stage Gem, you need to present them with the award. Afterwards she had tears in her eyes, he'll never forget it, and she just went, if you tell anyone I didn't tell you to not move off your mark I'm going to get the sack and lose my job, I'm in the firing line. How can I do that to someone right on top of Christmas Gemma said BBC staff failed to care for her following the drama. She said they didn't sit me down. They didn't even offer me a chair or get me water. Honestly, it's so bad. They did nothing, they just ushered me through to the next segment. Gemma has been left badly bruised and her doctor has advised her that her injuries are likely to become more severe over the next couple of days. She said it's the left side of my body that is coming out now with a bruising because I smacked down onto whatever material they had used for the raised platform. Gemma Collins lets fans know that SHES alright after falling through the stage at the Radio 1 Teen Awards literally my back on the lower left side is throbbing. Like, do you know, it's all starting to come up now. Her mum Joan has also been left devastated. Gemma said SHES been crying her eyes out. I'm like, mum please pull yourself together. She went, look, it's all well having a laugh and a joke about it. But if you watch the video back, Gemma, you could have broken your back. Anything could have happened. Gemma believes one good thing to come from the accident is that it shows she is no longer a quitter, after walking out of a Celebrity in 2014. The TV sensation became renowned for her tantrums when she starred on last year's Celebrity Big Brother. She said the public didn't know what happened to me in the jungle. 
I think they can see from yesterday that I went with a massive crash and tumble and still got up and finished my job. Idint go crying off the stage and, like, demand to be wafted down with a thousand lilies. Gemma says people think of her as a diva as much as people call me a diva. At the end of the day I was very professional and I have to do my gig. Realistically do you think I wanted to do all them things with Rita Ora and Grimmy when I've just fallen off the stage and nearly killed myself I've got back up so quick that no one really had time to digest it. They were just like, was it a gag or was it real? Well it was real and I'm lucky to be alive to tell the tale. Last night a spokeswoman for Radio 1 told The Sun, the BBC takes the health and safety of everyone involved very seriously and we are awaiting a full report from Remedy, the production company who made the show, about the incident, but they have told us that Gemma did receive a full briefing before going on stage. Tantrums and tears GEMMAS most memorable TV moments include stripping to her swimsuit at a Towie pool party in Marbella to tell her ex take a good look, you ain't ever gonna get this. Candy. Gemma lasted three days of meltdowns when she appeared on Im A Celebrity in 2014. Gemma lasted just three days of meltdowns on 2014's Im A Celebrity before quitting. And there were more tantrums in last year's Celebrity Big Brother. At one point she refused to leave her bed, sobbing I can't play any more games. Im gamed out. It's like having a job, working 247. The plunge is latest in a list of TV accidents. Actress Kimberly Davies, above left, hurt her shoulder falling from a helicopter on him a celebrity in 2005. And last year Jim Nasbeth Tweddle was left in a neck brace after a tumble on the jump. Sir David Attenborough vows to keep working past his 100th birthday Michelle Moan offered £350,000 to join CBB, but she wants to strictly Susan Kalman reveals suicide attempt at 16 but says strictly has given her joy thinning Gareth Gates reveals hair transplant snaps in bid to boost his career strictly's Brian Conley brand studio a shoulders HES axe from show Stormzy and Liam Payne set to be first celeb stars on X Factor live shows cozy Instagram shock fuels romance rumors for Rita or a Producer Pal ITV to make drama of Rachel Nichols' brutal murder based on her son's book Adele set to be offered £20 million for year-long Las Vegas residency at Posh Hotel Alexandra Burke irritated by Gorka's flirting with Gemma Atkinson ill Nicole Scherzinger needs emergency treatment during X Factor filming Liam Payne reveals Simon Cowell is desperate to get Cheryl back on X Factor.